In Ezra chapter 3, the Israelites had returned from captivity and gathered together in Jerusalem. They had been given the huge task of rebuilding their temple, and in verse 3, we're told that they were fearful of the people that lived in the land. There are three things that we can take from how the Israelites dealt with this enormous task and the fear that threatened to overtake them. Those things we can apply in our lives as we walk out our faith. In verse 1, we find the group, although relatively small, were gathered as one. They were unified, and great things always happen when even a small number of people unite for the purpose of bringing God glory. It was in Acts chapter 2 that the disciples were of one accord, that the Holy Spirit was poured out on them. Peter gave his great sermon and 3,000 people were saved. Then again in Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas locked in prison, united their hearts and began to seek the Lord together, singing hymns to God. God answered with a great earthquake, opening the jail doors and everyone's chains fell to the floor. That night the jailer and his family were all saved. There's really awesome power when we unify for the Lord. Because they were fearful, verses 3 and 4 tell us they set an altar in place to worship God and began strictly following His laws. After years in captivity, in a very real sense, they were now rededicating their lives to God. They knew they needed His guidance and protection. And in doing these things, they placed God directly between them and their enemies as their shield. And in that, they found comfort and encouragement. Now that God had been properly placed in their hearts and minds, the Israelites set out to build the most important piece of any building or mission, the foundation. The success of any structure, mission, and even life is in the strength of the foundation it's built on. And as we navigate our current events, it's imperative that we find like-minded people that love Jesus and believe the way we do. We must unify and support one another. Our connect groups and Bible studies are fantastic ways to do that. Together we become stronger. We can pray, study God's Word, and worship Him, always keeping Him between us and the enemy, thereby easing our fears. As we do life together, seeking Him, obeying His commandments, we're building on the rock Jesus Christ and making Him our firm foundation. Then when we experience overwhelming fear, the storms of life and attacks of the enemy, we can be steadfast in our faith, knowing that He will give us the necessary wisdom, protection, and ultimately, the victory.